Okay, chat. So let's go back to PSO. So we just cleaned up a free mode seabed, so we might as well just do like one or two more of these to kind of end the session. So we'll we'll do uh, I guess RT into free mode seabed into RT. Maybe that's the true combo. Although it looks like I'm gonna run out of music again. I'll wait for chat to get a little closer. Be right. Bomberman Wars. Of that soundtrack. Perfect. We have that for later. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what we'll do to try to get Dango the parasitic gene flow. I love that I'm still injured from earlier, too. That I find hilarious. <laughs> like, hell total. Wrecked. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I still have my super buffs? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. No, wait a minute, is this the new meta? Wait, I was kind of joking about that. Oh, we should have been doing this way earlier. I didn't even think about that. So, let me get this straight. If we do Seabed, and we all super buff, and nobody leaves the game, we have super buff for RT. I didn't realize Quest didn't reset super buffs. Oh. That actually changes my opinion on things, chat. Today we learned. I don't think I've ever done that before. Like, I've played other quests into the quest, and I've gotten PB from it. I don't think I've ever checked to see if my buffs were active. Because I think that happens, like, every very rare once in a while when I'm waiting for people and I do, like, forest or whatever. So yeah, I just have level 41 shift to D-band, which is kind of stupid. My damage is really good right now. Huh. <laughs> Chat. Hmm. The downside is that if you're playing a cast, you can't get your traps restored. Unless you TP back, restore them after you get the super buff. No, I don't think that would work. No, you'd have to skip to all kill yourself at some point for the traps. But for non-casts, this looks like... Hmm, new meta? So we're gonna try that after this. As I said before, I still have super buffs. But just imagine if we were playing with, like, level 70 ship to D band in this quest instead of level uh, 41. Because then I would have had like five more minutes of it. And that would have taken us pretty far, honestly. Hmm. A new meta is forming, Chan. Call that a happy little accident. wondering if I should update my quest guide. Free mode seabed RT is real. Okay, we're gonna rub the far right wall so we dodge all the traps. Huh. Because I'm basically killing in a combo now because of it. Nice photon bro. Like, it, it did actually make a difference in my kill speed. And it's not even like a super good version. Let alone if it was like the level 60 version. Yeah, we're definitely gonna showcase that then. I don't think I'll put up the first part of our stream, to be honest, on YouTube. It, it was okay. I mean, we, we showcase one thing, Heat Sword is okay. I don't think we really miss anything from it. No interesting drops, it's mostly just kind of a quiet start to the stream. But I think the- I think from that point onwards, the Miku quest list was pretty good. So thanks again to Miku for that. Only sadly it got another minute of buffs left. Oh well. It's gonna wear off in this boss fight. Trying to increase my synchro. I gave it like 6% more, so if I die, I basically go neutral here. Which? Oh, normal. Boo. We don't want normal. Oh, I got hit twice out of my attack. That is unlucky, actually. 
I'm gonna hide in the corner, because I feel like this is the best shot of interrupting the paralysis thing. Because if I line up so that I physically walk in the corner... I don't have Bazooka, but even then I'm pretty much lined up to hit it if it tries to hit me. And it's, you know, I gotta cure myself from poison, which is kind of annoying. But then I just go to the opposite side. I'll get a little buff in like 15 seconds from the first. Maybe I'll get some pot shots on the boss here. Okay, this portion's behaving as expected. I mean, I did like 4k to the boss there. Also, I realized I don't have my Jaya. Oh, oops. I only had my, uh, Gunyer, which is okay. We lost a little bit of time there, my bad. Let's go ahead and close out that soundtrack, because we got time. Now we're in Bomberman War. And there's Bomberman Fantasy Race. Because of course there is, chat. Not a very long soundtrack, sadly. Okay, so we're gonna try to line up. Bad line up, bad line up. Once again. Oh, that felt good, that felt good. Yeah, I need to go get my Jaya, I guess, for next time. I did some damage. Last one did do about 4,000. It's not like I didn't... It's not like I didn't participate in the boss battle, but it could have been a little better. I'm a little slightly off in my angle, but I'm happy otherwise with the approach. Oh, you know what I'm missing? Oh, I'm missing Kunai. Uh, yeah, now that we're doing RT. I didn't need it before. Jaya was my my bad, I just thought it was in my list. Kunai I know I definitely didn't have on me. Oh well. We'll believe in Imperimeter for the Bazooka carry. EDK, please. I tried. Now back to never using that ever again. Yeah, this character is six levels away from using Red Ring, which will be huge. It's, it's mostly her accuracy that's a problem. It's a little bit of ATP, but mostly accuracy. Nice. Power material. <laughs> Video title. I discovered how unfair it is to mag blast into a regular quest. Maybe that's what the strategy is. We just find like an actually good free roam and we just play it into like another one. Like, imagine just starting all tower quests with, like, level 79 shift to D-Band. How much more fun they would be. Is that the new meta chat? We do, uh, white ID, white ID, uh, RT. Oh, no, no, never mind. There's nothing good in there. We do red ID. But then red ID doesn't have anything fun in tower. Purple ID also doesn't have anything for this. Oh, so close. So I'm at 44 meter, which is okay. Yeah, let's let's test this after that. We're just gonna do a seabed into RT, and that'll probably be the stream since the server will shut down anyway in an hour. Rip and parameter. Ice breath does not mess around. It does so much damage. Like, I can walk into fire and lightning, ice breath, I respect that. Yeah, that's as much as I can do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's happening? I feel like a lot of misses happened there. I did shoot the real one, I was curious. 
Because that one took forever to land, so I'm like, maybe it's this one? Is that the trick? Box check for weapons. I guess it's immediately furthest than left, or where the weapons are. Got it. I'll do the Hellcleave check, since I'm interested in a V501 on blue ID. I would like to just permanently have it on, like, my Hugh Kissiel, for example, because she has really good accuracy and gets the cast bonus. Or it'll be full-time on my Rock Kissiel, because I think both of them are very good at, uh, just slamming status ailments out there. That makes up for their ATP. So opening that venue for things like Spread Needle being good or Red Sword Paralysis is kind of huge. Especially with potentially a 50 hit Red Sword, is what I had earlier. I just need to get to 64 meter, which should be pretty easy because this character does a lot of damage. I just want to reach the enemies game, please. Give me alone, traps. Already at almost 60 meter. Perfect. Oof, that feeling when you can miss normals, that is. That is a bad feeling on this weapon. I have to Vulcan them, we'll see. Already 65 meter though. So I'm, I'm basically where I need to be already, and I'm gonna be doing the health leaf check anyway. This is pretty much perfect. That'll give, uh... Then go a chance to build meters since I'm not going to be killing his targets. 66 meter is perfect. I should be able to build at least 2 meter on the robot. Sadly, I didn't really get hit by the dragon. But yeah, I'm going to be above 70, so that's pretty good. One hour warning. I think we could do another RT seabed combo in that time span, especially if we have super buffs. That should make it go real quick. So imagining Seabed takes about, let's say, 25 minutes. Then RT will take another 25 minutes. We still have 10 minutes to clear this quest. That's probably fine. I'm getting card trolled by the Sinnoh Girl. Can you please you stop teleporting? And again, we're gonna have super buffs, so we should just be able to clear at least a minute faster, I would imagine. And that also means all of us will gain meter really fast, too. So I'm just in time, I think, to deal with the spawns that are over here. I'm already at 74 meter, which is fantastic. Nicely done. Might be a little tight, we'll see. I think as long as we don't get too sidetracked in the other area, we should be fine. Because I don't think there's a lot of other ones where it's really worth running the free mode, sadly. I think I hit them for 100. I'm gonna try to bait the tornado, because I think he only targets the closest player. He should just be targeting me, basically, the whole time. Boss is already almost dead, which is fantastic. Okay, I did a little extra damage there. Perfect. I'm at 80 meter into the area. That's way higher than normal. 
see if we get the Gal Griffin's wing. It's technically the same mod as the Parasitic Gene Flow. But this is just an item that never drops for me. We got it once. <laughs> Tell Bill Meter to I run into tornadoes. I am too scared to do that as raw cast because I die instantly. It's okay to do on lower health people where potentially you get knocked down. But holy. When you get pinned against the wall, that is like GG. <laughs> I don't I don't like the tornadoes. got to build 18 meter. That's not too bad. I like how Jeff wrote that one of all the one. i debuff you from here. Help the team because I'm not in range for anything else. Be like, you're on your own team, good luck. Not dealing with that. Up a couple of these boxes though. These, nice hell. Poison switch. Need to get 8 meter, that should be good. Yeah, I figure uh, I'm usually up the ramp sniping everything anyway, so I might as well set the switch. Then I don't need meter here, so if Dango needs it, or if Imperimeter needs it, they just do whatever they want on Sino. I always ignore the first wave. Always ignore the squid. I'm gonna build meter on these enemies. Where the hell happens? Never mind. Sino hasn't even landed yet. Wow, did you see Last Swan snap to his location? Holy. Last Swan was like, oh, you thought you were escaping? I don't think so. Damn, that target was clean. A little bit for the team. Walk in the corner. Wait a little bit. One, two, three. Good Bowie. Perfect. I think the small delay there just guarantees the stun. So even with level 20, it's still good enough. If anybody needs meter, that's like the meter room. I need 5 meter, but I, I, I could just get hit by a single chainsaw. If I lose that much time, if any. I'm gonna use Rebarta here, though it's a little early. There we go. Looks like more RT runs for Dango's PGF, indeed. Doing well, remote battery. Server is gonna shut down in about 55 minutes. We're trying to do our best to clear. That might be a little tight on the other RT based off the timer. We'll still go for it. My buffs don't matter since I don't need any B. I'm gonna walk through this. The team is ready. Oh, never mind. I didn't see a parameter. Never mind. Parameter. But he's with the group. So since I have spells, I should be able to refoe that Eve sooner. Oh, you killed the Morphos. Oh, nobody else stayed to help you with Morphos. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not swapping out for P502. Feels terrible. Salute and Parameter for the clear. Hallway at 19 minutes is good. We 
you 53 minutes to beat Seabed and this quest again. But the secret is, is we're gonna have a little bit of super buff. So I imagine it's gonna trim at least two minutes from the run with the Parabeater. So I'm good to go. I think as long as we get here, as long as we buff before the 20 minute mark, we should be good. Whatever we have, we'll just do. Yeah, there we go. Need to use it. It's... Perfect. So that buys time for the animation. We'll be cleaning it up in 23 minutes, then I'll quickly make another game. We have about 20 something minutes to get through Seabed. Twice, like 21 minutes on average. Might be a little tight, but we'll see. It'll be sad if the server shuts down on uh, Overflow. Th that would be funny though. If nothing else, we'll do it because it's funny. So, Charge Vulcan for the boss. So, yeah. I think otherwise from the Miku quest list, like the tickets were nice, but like I don't, I don't know if the rest of the run was good. I'll be my PGF run that it shuts down. Poor Dango. The humor, pessimism is real. Well, I guess in a way, at least Dango and Vision's gonna get PGF, so that's good. Unfortunately for the boss, uh, less one. Kind of melts this. Although 75% chance I think the first normal is kind of bad. It should be pretty quick. Can you imagine if we could have been if we could have gone back to free mode, how overpowered this would be? <laughs> just just do this into free mode, see that, and then recycle. Mm. That, that would form a whole new game meta if that was allowed. Yeah, this character just needs XP. So we'll see how close we get. I mean, the worst thing that happens is we still run part of RT just for XP. The server shuts down. Yeah, that was fast. Goodbye, boss. At least we could say we tried to get Dango a PSG today. A couple times. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I will find it very funny if Edward Igma gets the PSG. I will find it very funny. <laughs> I will not be able to hold back the laughter if it happens. I feel like that would be the ultimate troll tier on that go. Like, actually trolling. I made. Oh, somebody got it! Oh, no, but never mind. I got excited. Just the background darkening. Baited by the darkening. Although, a level 100 is kind of nice. Rip. I got the parasitic gene tribe mate. So yeah, level 100 is nice. So we'll see how fast we do seabed, because we weren't really timing it very closely before. As long as we're about on par with 22 minutes, it should be fine. As I said before, I'm going to make sure that I don't burn my meter doing something stupid, and then we'll just do a mega buff in quests. That should be really strong. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go and create the new quests. I'm not gonna bother getting new items. If I have the super buffs, I don't think I need gun here. Just how I view it. I mean, it'll slightly help, but my single target damage would be so insane that it shouldn't matter. Right. So I'm not even going to wait for the team. I'm legitimately just going straight for Seabed. <laughs> just... That's the nice thing. I just go there. As soon as the team is ready, they can join me. And I'm going in. So that's the benefit of creating the game. Whenever the team joins, I'll just put down another... Euchre uh, or something. So the team can just go for my TP. Rather than trying to catch up to me. 
take your time as needed, but we're gonna we're gonna speed through where we can. Full percentage, please. Now put down another Ryu curse. The team's a little closer if they follow. Or Vulcan, I think, for this enemy. That was kind of jank. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of jank. I, I saw him slide up the slope. That's all that. Yeah, without buffs, not much you could do here. Working a bit. There we go. So I guess that is the plus side. If I if I'm the one that makes the game and I leave first, because I never need items, you just give the team like a 40 second head start on the quest. That's kind of nice. Lead is also kind of nice. So yeah, like, lead dropping here would be huge. I don't have the popper guide in front of me, sadly, to see if there's something I could have brought for this. I know katana will work on most characters. Claw definitely works across characters. Found the boxes, which is fine. Worth making box jump. I step on the laser gate because I don't care. <laughs> wow, the, the hell shotgun was something. That, was a, did it sp that is a root spawn. Uh. Could have been worse. There's just one, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, wait. Or that works, I guess. How did that not kill? I'm so sad. A funeral, please. start will give us enough time. It is kind of funny though that if people need a break or something we just continue the run. That, that is a plus thing for free mode seabed. Also what the heck is this room? Yeah like here's an example where you would just potentially just go down the stairs. Do in the box chat. Worry about that then. It's all squids. the healing circle. A little early in the quest, sadly, though. We're not losing, like, a ton of ton of time for not knowing which way to go. Oh, no. This room is horrible. What the heck is this room? Can you imagine if that actually landed? Of course I can these enemies so much. Save me, chat. <laughs> I I usually die once a run to them. It's so invisible. Man, more Deltaps, really? I just don't have, like, a high enough hit with this character. I don't have red rings, so, like, I legitimately can't hit this character until my third combo. Just really, really bad. Feels like I'm playing Fomoral almost, how bad my accuracy is. on right like I'm, I'm just I'm just double checking I feel like I'm missing quite a bit I'm losing basically 55% chances for better multiple times in a row very 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 unlucky it 
a 100 hit frozen shooter. Oof. They are really absurd. Okay, that melee worked. See, there we go. I justified the Gear Soul just then. I have it for Del Beater, but it also works in a pinch. Aww. Ooh, I like the potential use of Twin Blaze there. It was Del Beater, so that was smart. seem to be very good at fighting the chest, so I'm gonna look here first. Ooh. Did not go the right way. Well... Yeah, I think the other room was fine. We'll take it. This is fine. Did that even reach me? I don't think it can, right? I'll let chat deal with that one. Oh, there's a Del Beater that spawned somewhere. Interesting. I guess it was in the chest room. Never mind, this was the chest room. I lied to all of you. Four weapons, but sadly no hit percentage. Sidozoa. Yeah, sadly my hell handgun doesn't do a lot of damage because it's not a ray gun. Wait, what? Both paths were treasure? Wait, where was the real one? Wait. Was the real was the real path that middle room? Really? Am I missing something? I really wish I could see the doors on the map at all times. Wow, that is so trolly. I mean I don't mind finding another Tell Beater for Psycho One chances, don't get me wrong, but wow, that really sucked actually. It was a big detour. So apparently I'm really good at finding the treasure room. Yeah, this is one of those ones. I would love to see if somebody just had the maps. And I would love to just look at the map and be able to determine, like, what, what specific room can I then determine which map I'm in? Like, can I figure it out in the first few rooms? Is it something where, like, we definitely have a very different room compared to what we ran a moment ago, where the option was to go to the furthest room, and this one required us to go to the closest. So that kind of inconsistency can really mess us up if we're looking to get through here fast. Then I don't understand how this leads to progress either. Unless there's a warp somewhere, I'm not understanding what's happening. Oh, unless this goes really far over. Oh, okay, this goes further over. Okay, that makes more. Oh, wait. I guess we have to... Player door? Doesn't feel right for progress, but that's fine. Now we're just down here. What? Oops. Thanks, Zenozoa. Wait, are you serious? It was like the first room we're in? That really sucks. Yeah, that actually really sucks. I'll let chat choose a random direction. I'm curious if this will just be items. I mean, this has to be items, right? Oh, it's a healing circle. There. I didn't see what was up this room before. Well, I mean, it's faster if you know the way. I, I just, this map is so different from the other one, I just have no idea where to go. 
Like, we lost at least three minutes because we did an entire section of rooms we didn't need to do. Like, it is 100% faster. I just don't know the map, unfortunately. I didn't realize they could vary this much. So if we had just stayed in the first room, we could have come here immediately. If I'm looking at that correctly. I think so. That really sucks. So we could have been here like almost five minutes ago then. That's kind of brutal. Yeah. Because we did the double door to get back. Otherwise, we would have to literally take my warp from the beginning of the dungeon and go there. Because we did have a choice to go there. But is it was it really a double door that blocked us off? That's crazy. How were we supposed to get through in single player? Was there a warp somewhere if a crate was blocking? I just feel more confused. Team, go that way. I'm going to go this way. We're in Operation Find the Right Path mode. Alright, so this brings me back to the split room. This seems to be at least leading somewhere. Tango says here. Okay, because I don't want to teleport, so I'm just going to look where the team went. I'm going to go back the way I came and just go up. The team could move on without me, it's fun. I think I understand where the team is. So yeah, the warp ended up being at the top instead of the bottom of the map, so that's very different than before. Interesting. We still have about 15 minutes to clear, which I think we could do. I'm gonna see what's over here, just to clarify for team. Literally a crate. Okay, cool. Okay. Should have picked up that moon atomizer. Synchro a little bit. <laughs> Trap vision. There we go. My hell actually landed. Oh, it landed twice. Feels good. What was I shooting at just then? Why were my Why are my bullets going into the floor? What? I feel like Blue Donna. Like, huh? Why did that go in the floor like that? We have a couple paths we could take. I think the other way is the correct way. I'm just looking to check the items. So at least... Okay, so at least I know visually, like, if I see this room... This room has never led to the correct path. So at least if I can eliminate that. I think I understand the second area a bit more than the first area. The first area just was kind of a mess. Speaking of kind of a mess, why is there a Del Beater in here? We'll weaken it to the best of our ability here. Dango. Oh, that was just super rude. Alright, so I almost have Mag Blast. It's 72. I'm getting hit by, like, complete nonsense, though. Can you please? Please let me do something in this room other than get hit repeatedly. Thank you. So I just need to build a little meter for the final area. At some point, I should just last swan spam. Not for this wave, though. My hell luck has been pretty bad. I think other than the Morphos, it's taken me more than four hells on most enemies, despite me having V502. Pretty atrocious. 
So we're just looking to build a little meter here. If they melee me, this is fine. I need to skip 13 meter. We still, we have about 13 minutes before we arguably will not be able to clear the other quest. We need to hopefully get through this quickly. Okay. We're already part of the way through this area, so that's not too bad. 50-50 again. Is it left or right? So these just linked into each other. Now there's double warps over here. What the heck is this hallway? I just need 2% more, more meter. <laughs> what the heck? What is this? This doesn't feel like the right way, chat. This feels like an item room. Yeah. <laughs> it's like four switches. I'm like, what the heck is this nonsense? I mean, I'm happy we check boxes. Don't get me wrong. I, If we're going to detour, it, it, detouring for eight boxes, I'm okay with that. I, I'm not upset about that. That's not a time loss in my mind. That's like free seabed checks. Wow, this is uh, this is truly a nonsense layout. Is there a way to go down? I think I'd rather go down, I think, than up at this point. I I don't trust the, the other door. Yeah, let's try going down. The other doors just... I look like they would just loop into the item rooms. So I don't see how else you would hit the item rooms unless you went to that path. So I'm gonna eliminate that, hopefully. The fact that this is such a long hallway is a bit promising, but I don't like that we're coming back to this room. Seriously? That's all it looped to? I thought there was gonna be a split choice, like we were gonna have like a tease section hallway. Wow. I mean like, there was such a great chance that wouldn't lead straight to there. Like, there's so many other hallway configurations. It could have been a four-way, a T intersection. Of course. How annoying. Well, we have 10 minutes to finish this quest. I can't believe the double warp is presumably the way we have to go. That's like actual insanity. I am very bad at figuring out Seabed layouts. Yeah, this is all I figured out. These, these rooms are so different from the last one that we played. I have no idea what the pattern is other than to memorize it at this point. So I guess if I see double warp, double warp equals progress. This room is always progress. Oh, we're getting poisoned? Cute. We want a mag blast a bit later. So I have it, but we want to save it for the boss, and then we immediately RT with 10 minutes of super buffs. I'm thinking 10 minutes of super buffs means we just kill everything basically instantly. Should be basically fine. Which will matter on the worm boss, actually, quite a lot, if we can keep it there. Because with only a level 41, I was able to reach it. So having, like, a level 60 even would be huge. Because I, I did about 4,000 to the boss before it beached with just last one. So I think if I had a stronger buff, I could probably do 6,000 just by myself. I guess it's room. Music, please. We got about nine-ish minutes to clear. The other, the other room we know has to be a treasure room. So the question is, where do we go from here? Right or left? Boxes. It's fine. Boxes are fine. Perfect mayhem. Welcome, Supersonic. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Don't think we have any mods to give you a shout out. Hopefully, you're doing well. on a terrace farm, exactly. We're experimenting a little bit with Seabed. We're learning that I need to go look up the maps later. So that's what I've learned so far. Metal Gear, maybe. So we have basically everything that we need. We just need to find the boss, and then we're good. 
We have about eight minutes to find this boss and kill it. The question is, what path do we take? So there's a blue laser gate there. I don't know if that matters. Where does this go? This puts me in another long room. Maybe? I was like, I can handle almost anything solo except for Del Beater. I don't have freeze traps. I'm just gonna switch to this to clean them up a little bit. <laughs> that felt insulting. I felt I felt that was personal from the Del Beater. It's like four people in the room, no. You can see <laughs> Q new rules going down. I think things are okay. We, we played through a series of quests uh, that were discussed by Miku and in, in Infinia Thread, and I feel like most of them were worth running. I highly recommend you check that out later. Like, the thread, not necessarily the video. So, we'll maybe rotate a couple of those into our slots. Ooh, this is promising. This is very promising. We're in the hallway of light. Okay. We might be able to do it then. We might be able to squeeze it in RT after this. This should be the boss. Perfect. So we have six minutes to beat this. I think we could do this. So I got twins. So I'm going to say twins. So now what's going to happen is that because we're playing free mode seabed, as soon as we're done with this quest, we start RT. But we keep the super buffs. That's the strat chat. We're doing it. We're living the dream. <laughs> we get to experience this for the first time on stream together. Let's see how strong this is. I'm sure it'll be stupid. Okay, Vulcan time. Yeah, do not use the do not use the nurse. Do not log out. It would be very sad. But we have 13 minutes of buffs, which means probably about three minutes of it will just be burned on Ogoflow, but then we have 10 minutes of super buffs, so that should put us pretty cleanly into Spaceship in 10 minutes. And that means Worm Boss is going to get absolutely dumpstered. Wait, kick Bill there. <laughs> that revenge slap as it died. I was gonna say, I think the team might actually be able to move there. Because we got slapped just as it went through there. It missed me, though. Yeah, we're trying to get Dango a parasitic gene flow, but, uh... We'll see what happens. At this point, the boss is dead. The, the, boss, the boss being defeated here is a formality. There's no way this boss is surviving us. Yeah, let's do Bomberman Fantasy Race for now. That should take us to the end of the stream. There we go. Nice and simple. So we have 24 minutes-ish, maybe 23 minutes to beat RT with super buffs. I think we could do that, chat. I don't think that's outside the stretch of imagination. We beat it in about 23 regardless, but now we have super buffs. <laughs> but it'll be tight. Dead already. It'll be it'll be a photo finish for sure. gonna say Edward Enigma slash yellow buzz pointing going that's where oh, that's where Dango's PSG should be. Welcome Toriel, thank you for the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. The server's about to go down in 24 minutes. But we'll do our best to clear out an RT real quick. Don't mind me. Uh we should do box checks. Uh should be the last box check we need to make. So I'm gonna go back to the counter. So everybody needs to meet me at the counter. We have 11 minutes of super buff. I think that's good enough. I could go get Jaya. Let me go get Jaya. Hopefully you're doing well, Toriel. What were you playing tonight? Uh, 
Nice, let's go. Repel handgun, swap. With heavenly power, because we forgot to do that earlier. Go team. Oh, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be tight. The boss takes about 22 and a half minutes. 23 minutes right now. So we're gonna hope the super buff covers us here. This should be phenomenal damage. Should just be like one combo kills on everything. Yeah, just normal, normal, normal here. On the plus side, building meter again for the boss should be pretty easy. <laughs> These enemies are just getting deleted. Doing some Valheim? Nice, nice. What were you playing earlier, Super Sonica? Out of curiosity. A Jaya with hit apparently has dropped. Guess that was from the box. Well, this is going so fast. It's a good sign. We, we need it to go fast. The best part is it doesn't really interfere with my meter gain that much. Oh, I should have just get here. Just would have been smarter. 80s too. Nice, nice. I'm waiting for that to come out of early access, but I look forward to that at some point. Sadly, uh, we are getting trolled by Patrickles. We have uh, basically everything in the game except for what Patrickles has. So we've beaten the the heat challenge. We have all weapons basically almost full upgrade. Patrickles refuses to talk to me. He's like, you have relationship for? Nah, you don't. You don't have any important things going on. What a big troll! One day, Chad. One day we'll go beat Hades formally. Get our last companion. That's probably not as good as the other ones that we have. Damage is so high. Well, we're getting our 20-minute warning chat. If we're lucky, we'll get a couple seconds beyond midnight, but we'll see. But so far, it's going pretty quickly. The fact that one gunshot combo is enough to kill these is very silly. We're gonna have eight minutes of buff, so that should last us till spaceship. We're gonna lose it for Gal Griffin, sadly. The fact that I'm killing with just normals to me is insane. Like, I'm just doing one normal attack and it kills them for the most part. Very silly. Okay, so we have all of our super buffs. If we're lucky, the boss is gonna glitch here. And the boss should take insane damage from the parameter. I guess in a way we also save time not needing to buff in between the boss stuff. So we save ourselves probably like 8 seconds or so on the run. So you're gonna glitch. Nice, glitch. What I wanna see. More chances for Imperameter to hit shots. Nice, we did good damage. Good damage. Corner, face out of the corner, with the target. Because I think as long as we're all just kind of grouped together, we should pretty much never get paralyzed, just due to the fact that it has to go towards where I'm aiming. So I, I think we have solved Barbara Ray at this point, where I, I'm convinced this is the best place to stand. I see team go over there, I don't know why the team walks over there, because then they're not lined up with the boss here. Which is why I don't like walking over there. Oh, that was a fast barber. I didn't even beach. I'm safe. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, wait, are we gonna get it all the way through dragon? Oh. If only we didn't have to wait here. <laughs> that was that was fast. Um. And we're gonna go for the lineup Olympics. Let's see, am I gonna am I gonna qualify for lineup Olympics? We're gonna line it up. 
Ooh, that might be good. My feet are slightly to the left of the bowl on that portion of the raft. Lawn lineup Olympics, let's go. That fell faster, chat. I feel like we saved some time. We might be okay with completing the run in 18 minutes. Considering we also still have six minutes of super buff. We might even have this for Gold Dragon, which if it lasts till phase two, that's where we lost time last time with this current comp. That would be huge. I don't think it takes six minutes to reach that boss. I think more realistically it takes about four. Again, we just have hyper, hyper damage. <laughs> just it tied in two normals. Like, come on. That's fast. We're saving little bits of time here and there. Holy. Already dead. So just overall, the team as a group is further ahead than before. And that's good. That's what we want to see. This pan arm should just get absolutely deleted. Oh, he actually split? Wow. We, we DPS so hard, his first action was splitting. That's funny. ATP actually trolled us there. Too powerful, chat. We need to get nerfed. So I still need to get around 68 meter for the next phase. I'm actually worried I won't have enough. See though. I mean, I'll be able to build meter on gold dragon. So I think I have to take damage from gold dragon or I won't have enough for buff at the end. That's actually kind of tight. I'm just thinking about it because we're... Ooh. I have to be at about 65 meter by the time I'm done with the bees. Be interesting. Okay, so we still have four minutes of buff, so we can take advantage of this on the boss. Should be good. We're gonna hope I actually don't get Mag Invincibility. <laughs> Unless it's Ice. If it's Ice Breath, it's fine. If it's Fire Breath, I'm gonna be very sad, because that would have built us so much meter without killing us. Because the goal is to not die. Oh, what's Ice Breath? Don't die to Ice Breath. No, Dango! Ice Breath, you gotta respect it. Ice Breath does so much damage. Rip the super buff. Ah, that's the best I could do. I think chat should kill it here. So I'm gonna get stomped here on purpose, build some meter. Hope the boss falls on us. Get some more meter. Fall on me. I need meter. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I got hit twice. That's perfect. Look at that, 45 meter. That's pretty good. So I need to build 20 meter between now and the end. To check the weapon boxes and we'll move on. So I still have three minutes of super buff. That's insane. So I'm probably gonna have to get punched a lot by the robots. Because I am like a little bit under where I normally am. We don't need like a super super buff, but at least two people need to have mag blast to make it go quickly. So I need to make sure that I'm one of those two. Unfortunately, I'm getting a lot of meter. There we go. I'm gonna leave the other two to impair meter. I'm gonna kill this key. Perfect. We have 14 minutes to clear the quest where the server shuts off. We get no item, which would be very sad. Can you imagine if we beat Olga Flow, we see Parasite Gene Flow, and the server also crashes? At least you should be able to point them to the VOD. <laughs> you can at least say, you can at least say, I swear it was real, it was here. <laughs> Please give it back, it's so sad. Like, you don't understand. And okay, we're racing the server maintenance. We'll see who wins, though. We still have two minutes of super buff, which is awesome. 
I'm at 62 meters, so I'm almost where I need to be. So this is a good sign. I, I, even if I lose the super buff here, or Gal Griffin, which is about what I thought would happen, uh, we are still on track to get another super meter. Dango will cry a bit, oh no. Let's not make Dango cry. I mean, we're almost done. We're, we're, we just have Gal Griffin and Sea... and Seabed. We don't have that much left in the quest. We have 12 minutes, but realistically we need to be at the boss in about 9. So I, I think this is doable. But we gotta be real fast, no messing around for sure. So, ideally, we should be at the Olga Flow room at the 19 minute mark, even before super buffs. Buff up, and then at the 22 minute mark, the quest is over. So, I think we're on track to clearing it on time. We have like 40 seconds of leniency. Let's get controlled by Sinnoh Barrel, I want. Aim, please. Why does this not aim? There we go. So still 27 seconds of super buff. I'm at 70 meter, which means I'm above where I need to be. Although sadly it doesn't look like we got too much further with the, the keys. I'm gonna stay in the other force. Almost defeated. On the plus side, we should all be in the right position. I'm not gonna go for the power material. Parameter will need the buff. Oh. I'm gonna try to tag it a little bit. I'm gonna try to bait the tornado. So I think we're making good progress. We might even meet it at like the 18 minute mark, which would help in case they start the server early, but we have 10 minutes basically to reach there. To beat the boss and also collect the item. Approximately. Let me try to bait out some shots from the balls. I'll target somebody else because I'm not the closest. I should target me here. I'm just trying to do this to make sure our ranger gets some free shots in. Ooh, that's a lot of tornadoes chasing me. What the heck is this? It's gonna be real close. Ooh. I mean, that helped me with meter gain. I'm okay with that. That helped with meter gain, but we gotta go. I know, Chad, it's the real race. 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, I don't know what our time normally is at Gal Griffin, so I don't know if we did actually save time. I'm hoping we did. 3 ATP. No accuracy, though. Man, two neural levels suck, Chad. For real. I felt like I'm leveling like a bad force without the stat spread. Like I got one more defense than normal, what do you do? I'm climbing the scales of attack there, that should be fun. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to run ahead as much as possible The trigger spawns. I guess in theory I could hell handgun to save time once I have meter. Yes. Right now I should just focus on heavenly power for damage though, because I just need to build meter. We're at 91 meter, not too bad. Not too close, sadly. There we go. Nice kill. So I'm gonna go in first. I'm gonna start dealing with Rico boxes. They're gonna deal with this because they have hell. Building meter. Rico box. Poison switch. A 99 meter, so I get to choose when I get mag glass. Um so ideally here, I will not eat it until 
preferably not- I don't want to trigger on the Del Beater. Triggering on the Del Beater would be really huge. Or bad for me. I'd prefer to keep it for the room after the Del Beater. So the way I need to do this is I have to attack with only specials. And let the team kill the other enemies. So I'm basically just gonna wait, because I don't want to fight the Sido. The team deal with that. And hopefully not get tagged by the Chainsaws here. It'll be very sad. So our goal with Charge Vulcans is I can kill the two Rico boxes on left and right. Oh, uh, this room first. Um, one Gafoe, two Gafoe. Let the team do deal with the Del Beater. I'm just gonna go immediately to the next room. <laughs> I believe in the team's damage. I'm going. <laughs> we have seven minutes. So it's looking good. We should be able to get the item before then. But I'm going ultra fast. So I could trigger it in this room. This wouldn't be the worst room to trigger it in. So by the time I'm done with this box, I could just rebar it through the wall like this and hit him. Unfortunately, I did not freeze him. Man, the no Rebarta freeze game, please. Thank you. So you have enough time to kill that box. And that is the timer for the Seno to fall. So like, we have that down. The Rebarta chance to freeze is just, it's too random. So ideally here, I'm not going to trigger invincibility until I go to the next room. So I don't want to get hit by Morphos. I don't want to get hit by random mines, so I gotta be paying close attention here. I don't want to trigger this trap. That's very bad for me. <sighs> exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I waste a lot of time. Unfortunately, I didn't get Mag Blast Invincibility. So what would have happened is if it had triggered in this hallway due to that, I wouldn't have been able to use it in a useful way. So ideally what I would have done if, I'd had, if somebody had not triggered it, I would have come out of this hidden area after I do my box check, shoot an enemy twice, end up with 100 meter, be invincible for the final room. So that's the dream. That's, that's like perfect PB management to try to get the invincibility trigger exactly when I need it without needing like any complicated items. Okay, this is looking really good. We're at the 17 minute mark and we're almost at the room already. This is really good. I think we saved a minute compared to doing the quest normally. So we have four minutes to beat the boss. That's our official timer. We're gonna do some normal sh shots here to hopefully hit the enemy. I prefer not to buff here if I can avoid it, but I need to help build this so the team can catch up to me. So I got all the meter that I need. We're here about a minute early, which is pretty huge, actually. Normally, we're entering this room at 19 minutes, so we saved about a minute 30. So I'm waiting for the team. And then I'm just going to say using twins as soon as everybody's in here. There we go, chat. The timer. <laughs> Four minutes till midnight, th about four minutes until the server shuts off. It's gonna be so tight. I'm gonna- you know what? I don't even want to swap weapons yet. I'm just gonna go right into the portal. I'll swap weapons when I'm inside. Imagine this is the run. I know, chat. This would be the most earned parasitic gene flow of all time. We're racing that we're we purposely did a strat to speed up our second attempt at this. And we're we're racing the clock. It's on, chat. Hopefully it does not start before midnight, or that would be really sad. But it should start hopefully literally on time. Okay. And the last one to try to last hit it. Oh, we got the bad pattern! Oh, I just need to hit it, like, once. No! Bad pattern. Oh, this one wastes so much time. Oh, just one more hit. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're out of the bad pattern. That that was the nightmare scenario. That one, it dodges, like, every shot, unless you're using Rambling May or Frozen Shooter. We still have it, despite that adding, like, 15 seconds to the run. Okay, right, the boss will be dead in a minute. So we should have this as long as no one, as long as no one shoots this boss early, the boss is going to die in two minutes. 
Because we're, we're, we're locked in for long cutscenes here. <laughs> the pressure is on. Boogie found something? Too bad. We don't have time to look at it. Found level 30? Nice for them, I guess. Need some damage here. Boss is dead. Okay. Two minutes left and counting, but it's under two minutes now. We still gotta get through the cinematic. <laughs> this, this doesn't matter. If it shuts off here, it's over. <laughs> We're locked in for like at least 30 seconds. Yep, 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 we know. It's probably close in a minute, right? We should be fine then. Okay, we got one minute. Okay. That's all that matters, chat. We have one minute to pick up the parasitic gene flow if it's there. <laughs> Let's go. This cutscene is forever. Yeah, okay. Levels. No items. So sad. Drop the mono fluid in disappointment. Oh, we did it though. Hey, we had a sub 22 minute clear of RT. Look at that. Even with the timer. Damn, maybe that's the strat. I mean, Seabed wasn't like too, too slow. I think the problem more was like, we need like a guide for the maps of the area. Because we did, we did lose like six minutes. I feel just on the first floor. The second one wasn't too bad. We only lost about a minute or so. And it's still, we still beat it in 25 minutes or less wasn't too bad. I guess I'll go get my money. The so GG. We're gonna race to the guild counter before the, before the server shuts down. Let's see if we earn our money back. So I'm happy this character did level at least. Five more levels and we get red ring. There we go. Handed it in. GG. Nice. Hit 104 for Edward Nigma. Let's chat, I guess. So the server's going down. So we might as well as end the stream in just a moment. So hey, we cleared it. So here's what we learned today. Seabed, if we have a series of maps, or we just run it a lot, I think is worth... I think it's worth doing into RT because of how much easier it makes RT. Especially since I feel like we, we did save about a minute and a half, so if they're about comparable in speed, it just gives us more overall uh, Del Beater checks and Morphos checks, which is most of what we should be hunting anyway. So even if it's about time neutral, I think the different enemies we fight might make it worth it. So those are my thoughts on it. We'll practice it. I'm not sure if there's a repository for all the seabed maps. I'm actually going to look it up right now. There are... No, uh, no, no, I need maps. Okay, this just says guide guide to seabed, but I'm like, no, 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 no. I need, I need the physical map. I don't care about the enemy counts. Okay. Okay, so now I have the maps. Let, let's showcase this on stream. Go to stream one. Where is it at? Oops. I'll do it on that one then. Let me let me use a different window. Try this again, but this time with the other map. Or I broke it completely. That's unfortunate. Did I move it by? I think I moved it by accident. That's unfortunate. Let me share. No capture. Yeah, so you are. There we go. So I broke the other one, so I'll just get rid of that. Just, I don't know what happened to it. I think I moved it off the scene or whatever. So let's delete this. 
So with this one, if you take a look at this. Let me shrink this down slightly. Almost see the whole thing. So I think from our perspective, if we're looking at the map itself, let me zoom in once as well. So like what we were fighting before, it's not too bad. Like this pattern one kind of made sense. So basically it looks like we always have to hit like this big round room each time we go through. And then that doesn't seem too bad. What was the horrific one that we were in? That, that was not the pattern we had before. We had a much worse pattern when we were playing earlier. So let's open, check this map out. Oh, I think that this was the pattern that we were in before. Yeah, this this one was horrific. Yeah, like, see how different they are in their positioning? This is why I got confused. Like, look at the difference of this map at the top compared to, like, the bottom map. This is why I got confused. So we this is the one we just ran where I had no idea where we were going because the, the, the level exit was in such a different position between those two locations. Do you know what I mean, chat? So maybe if we play it in the future, I'll just pop this map up. So at least if we see... So based off the start position, we'll know immediately what map we're in. I guess that's my takeaway. So the lower patterns are simple. I don't think those are too complicated. It was just the upper one where they were just so dramatically different that it was just kind of insanity-inducing. We have one other variation for upper. Interesting. So in all scenarios, we should be able to tell which pattern it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do, chat, I'm going to share these links for people that are looking for these. I'm gonna put this one just arbitrarily in the chat. So I think if we open this up when we play, maybe this will make Seabed more manageable. Because as I said before, I was I was expecting to have like minor variations, not like the entrance was so different in location and the exit was in a completely different spot. So I was expecting it more to be like, oh, you go up first, then down, versus like down and then up, versus you're now in, like, the far left and you have to go up versus the far right and you have to go left or something like that. So, we should be able to view this and get an understanding of where we have to go. So I'm going to do some studying, I think, for next time. We'll check these out later. But I think that concludes our stream, since it is after midnight. I have work tomorrow in person. And the surfer went down. So with that chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the bond, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.